I am Satosh Gajankar. Today's concept about the gyroscopic effect on the aeroplane. Okay. I will consider this is an aeroplane here. A simple line diagram I will consider here. This is the aeroplane. This is the propeller. This is the axis of the precision. And this is the tail end. This is the weaving end. Rear end on tail end. This is the front. This is the propeller. Or you can consider as a nose. And rotating in propeller rotating in clockwise direction. The first condition is clockwise. Clockwise. As per the weaving direction, if I weaving from this end at the end of this propeller or tail end, this become what? As per your hand, this become left and this become what? Right right now now how to draw the diagram for this one this is the clockwise direction now this i know this axis i know this line the rotation is clockwise direction i will fix the clockwise direction here thumb indicate the thumb indicate the arrow here just draw the arrow when it moves towards left, when it is moves towards left, the active gyroscope will be produced here. This is the active, active gyroscope, and the reactive gyroscope will be produced in opposite direction. Now, how to represent the direction? Just you have to use the. This is the reactive gyroscope. Reactive. Now, how to represent the direction for this one? If I hold this active gyroscope the pen this finger represent the direction it is in in this direction that's it this is for clockwise direction the indication is that the arrow this in the arrow indicate what nose is up this arrow indicate tail down second case when it is moved towards right direction then what happened just same arrow will be this side this is the right hand thumb rule arrow right direction this is active this will be reactive this as it is a reactive active gyroscope you have to fix the hand in this that means this finger indicate the arrows now condition is nothing but the nose is down the arrow for this one tail is up that's it clockwise direction now similarly when it is counterclockwise direction ccw for the counterclockwise direction i will consider the aeroplane here this is the aeroplane these are the wings this is the propeller for me or nose I am, I am viewing from this rear end tail or rear end now it is anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise along the axis now as I view from this rear end my this is the right hand this is the right and this is what left now same I know this axis I will draw a line here when it is moves now I will consider the first case was anti-clockwise -clock in second case was anti-clockwise I will fix the end here the thumb indicate what the vector representation just represent the vector here next it is moving it towards the right move towards the right this is the active gyroscope this will be the reactive gyroscope hold it to the reactive gyroscope the arrow will be in this direction apply it then this indicate what nose will be up nose up tail down that's it next case when it is moves towards left same 
left active reactive now it is holding in this direction therefore the arrow will be in this direction in this case what happened nose will be down tail will be up that's it two cases are over uh, four cases are over one two three four four cases are over now second class when it moves up and down when it is moved in this direction the up and down up and down then what happen i will consider the up and down clockwise direction up clockwise direction same will draw the aeroplane here this is my simple aeroplane but axis of precision in this way because it has to move from up and down up and down therefore this act as a up and this act as a down i am viewing from the rear end here this is my end tail up and down and rotation is clockwise direction here same along the axis i will draw a line this is the thumb rule the arrow will be represent here when it moves upward direction it moves here the active gyroscope the reactive gyroscope now here the one speciality is here when it moves up and down we have to consider the reactive gyroscope in order to go for giving the direction here this is the reactive gyroscope in this direction it is the arrow visibly in this way here you have to write that only one word you have to write the nose towards right that's it it is moving towards right here this side your right hand side see the arrow write the word nose towards right that's it same case i will go for downward this is the arrow downward it will be downward active reactive as it is reactive the direction this is as it is reacting the finger will be in this direction now here the nose towards left that's it nose towards left next case this is i have to write up and down clockwise direction now up and down anti clockwise direction counter clockwise direction okay i will consider the aeroplane here this is my aeroplane viewing from this end rear end this is the tail this is the propeller or nose this is axis of precision now i will consider this is up and this is down now when i view from this end i know the axis here this is axis now it is anti clockwise rotation is anti clockwise it is anti clockwise thumb indicate what here arrow when it is moves upward when it is moved upward it is up active reactive you have to see the reactive gyroscope in order to give the direction this is the direction rotate out what the arrow indicate nose towards the left sorry right nose towards right direction that's it when it is down this is down active reactive go for reactive in this direction no stores left left this is the basic concept i want to say i am sandosh gangkar thank you very much